All eyes are on the forecast with Western New York expected to be one of the better spots in the path of totality. Think about it down in Texas. They're expecting lots of clouds, maybe even some storms here. Maybe just some high clouds. We're hoping we'll check in with Mary Beth for a specific forecast in just a bit, but we are going to begin here tonight with two important voices joining us live here in studio is Mark Mistretta. He is director of the Niagara region for New York State Parks. Thanks for being here. And from Albany, uh, we are joined right now by the Commissioner for the State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services, Commissioner Jackie Bray. Uh, thanks to both of you for being here. Commissioner Bray, I do want to ask you in a moment what you've been dealing with all day, which is that earthquake down in New York City. I, I appreciate yeah. you still being able to do this interview with us. Um, we were afraid you, you'd be tied up. So thank you for that. Let me start with from the state perspective, what are the last minute preparations like for you and your team? Because I understand and you're going to be coming here this weekend ahead of the eclipse. I am. Well, I'll tell you, I did not expect to spend the, the last work day before the eclipse uh, on an earthquake, but here we are, right? So uh, we are ready. Uh, we've been preparing for 18 months. Right now, we're really focused on making sure that all of the resources that our Department of Transportation, our throughway needs, help trucks, pre-position tow trucks, uh, topping off the gas stations along the throughway, clearing out any construction, that that is all handled. Uh, we're also preparing to deploy assets, again, like refueling trucks, our motorcycles from our state police, UTVs, ATVs, uh, across the entire path of totality to be ready just in case anything does happen. Well, it is good to know that for sure. Uh, Mark, let me ask you, um, Niagara Falls, I know you're over lots of state parks yes. um, as, as the regional director here, but there is a lot of focus right now on Niagara Falls, um, possibly a million people right between the two sides of the border. Are we already seeing people coming here and, and maybe what worries you the most a few days out? So uh, yeah, we've, um, traffic has picked up. Already, and yeah. we have heard a lot of numbers. Uh, they vary, but we're prepared. Um, I think what concerns us the most is just the after the event. What happens after? What kind of rush? So, we, so our message is arrive early. Enjoy the park. Enjoy the attractions. It's going to be a nice day. And then stay late. Don't rush out. So I think if people do that, they exert um, exercise or patience, I think will be good. You know, they'll enjoy themselves and our number one focus is that they be safe. Yeah, you really want to avoid those bottlenecks before the main event and after Absolutely. the main event. Um, Commissioner Bray, one of the things um, that was brought up to me that I thought was really interesting and I want to get your take on was people actually printing or saving screenshots of directions because there are a lot of people worried that cell phone service is going yeah. to be sort of overwhelmed, right? Um, do you, is that a good idea? And what are a few of the tips um, that you would give to people right now as they're preparing for Monday? Because you know, th this could go one of two ways, right? Everything could go smoothly and it could be great. Or we could see just with so many people, we could see some of these issues. Yeah, absolutely. There are going to be a lot of people. You know, we're saying, arrive, as Mark said, arrive early, stay late, pack your patients, but don't just pack your patients. Pack snacks, pack water, pack a, you know, an, a sweatshirt or an extra blanket. You might spend a lot of time in your car. Um, fill up your gas tank or have a full charge if you've got an electric vehicle. Uh, things like that are really important. Uh, don't park along, you know, the, the shoulders of roads where they're just two lane roads. We have to be able to get emergency vehicles through. Uh, that's incredibly important. So, you know, I think that there are things that people can do in terms of cell reception. Um, we do expect that the cell, we, we expect everyone will continue to have cell reception, but we would not be surprised if it's interrupted, particularly in very high traffic areas like Niagara Falls, 911 will continue to work. That we prioritize 911 calls on those grids. That will always work. Number one. Number two, uh, there is Wi-Fi. Uh, there's a Wi-Fi network it, at Niagara State um, Park, and that might help uh, sort of diffuse some of the overloading on the cell uh, cell phone. Uh, capacity. Uh, and then, you know, don't make a call if you don't have to make a call. I know that feels really simple. Uh, we all get so phone obsessed, but enjoy looking up at the sky uh, instead of looking down at your phone. Uh, great advice there, Mark. It's not just 
Niagara Falls, right? There are other state parks and, and you know, in terms of like places that had cabins available and all that, that stuff is, has long been sold out um, because those are going to be great places to experience this. What are a couple of the key things that people need to know, whether they're going to Niagara Falls State Park or one of the other state parks in terms of, you know, when when things are going to close and, and when you have to be there in place, that sort of thing? Good question. So uh, I think one of the key things like in Buffalo Harbor State Park, uh, we are not going to have our boat launch open on Monday the 8th. So mm. if you're getting your boat in the water, you have to do it the day before. Um, other than our camps grounds, we're allowing no overnight parking. Um, so no get there over, at 6 in the morning. Get there at 6 <laughs> in the morning when they open. Yeah. And, uh, and once they fill, that's it. We're going to close it down. So especially on Goat Island, uh, once those lots fill up, we're going to shut it down to vehicular traffic, pedestrians only. So we're asking them, you know, get there early and, uh, and set up. The other thing, um, plan on visiting some of the attractions we have, you know, the, the aquarium, Fort Niagara. We've got, uh, you know, the Underground Railroad Museum, the area. We've got the Bay of the Mist, Cave of the Winds. They're mm -hmm. all there. But get there, Cave of the Winds is time ticketed. You want to get, probably the tickets go on sale at 9 o'clock. You want to get there to get your tickets for Cave of the Wind. A few lucky people are yes. going to get those Cave yeah. of the, uh, th those right at the 318 moment when we're in totality. Right. I would say the luckier people, though, would be those for Made of the Mist. Yeah. They do not have time ticketing, and it's just going to be, uh, you know, the luck of the stars, if you will, yeah. um, to uh, be there out in the water at that time. The sun and the moon will need to align, I guess is a yeah. <laughs> way it's to a say good it. Way. Yeah, exactly. Um,